Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of 3D printing with a detailed look at the Antina 2S 3D printer. This video is going to cover everything you need to know about this impressive little device, from its size and build quality to some of its standout features, so let's get started. Before starting, I want to give a thank you to the folks from Antina for sending me this 3D printer so I can take a deeper dive into it. Ok, so first things first, let's talk about the size of the Antina 2S. This is a great 3D printer if you're looking to get into 3D printing, but don't have enough space in your home or apartment. I was really impressed at how small this thing is, which is perfect for most home projects and even some small professional applications. It's compact enough to fit on a standard desk but offers a generous print area for a wide range of designs. Here's a dinosaur for size comparison. This thing really is a space saver. The Antina 2S has a solid build quality with a robust frame that ensures stability during printing. This means you can expect more precise prints with less wobble. At first glance, the build quality has a somewhat cheap look to it, almost like a toy. But when you get really up close to it, you can see that it's actually really well made. And I also really like that this is an enclosed printer, which makes it easier to put in tight places. One of the standout features of the Antina 2S is the auto leveling bed. This feature takes the hassle out of manually leveling, ensuring that your print bed is perfectly level every time, which is crucial for high quality prints. This is one of the main things I usually have issues with with other printers. But the fact that this printer does the leveling for you really takes a lot of the hassle and tinkering that you have to deal with with other printers. You can still adjust the z-axis height for example, but so far I have been using it with the out of the box default settings and haven't encountered any issues so far. I personally think this is the main thing that really makes this printer beginner friendly, since you don't really have to set up much. Another thing that makes this printer very friendly for beginners is the fact that it comes already assembled. Yes, there are many 3D printers out there where you have to put a lot of the parts together before starting to use it. For this one though, it already came assembled. The only thing you have to do is remove some of the tape and plastics and attach the filament to it. After that, you are pretty much ready to go. The auto leveling feature makes it incredibly easy to get started with prints without worrying about calibration. Another great feature is how quiet the Antina 2S is when printing. The low noise makes it perfect for home use, even in shared spaces or late at night. I had this printer doing a print on the room next door with the door open and I seriously could not hear any noise coming out of it until I got up close to it. Also related to the senses, another thing I noticed is that it doesn't produce much of a smell. I'm not sure if the ply filament they use is any different than what you can get online, but this thing did not really produce much of a smell while in operation. In contrast, other 3D printers I've used in the past do produce a bit of a smell which is kind of like a plasticky smelling thing, but this one not so much. As you can see, the printing process is smooth and efficient. The Antina 2S delivers high quality prints with impressive detail, thanks to its reliable extruder and precise movement. Before I show you how easy it is to set up the software and load models, I want to show a finished 3D print. Here's a finalized print I made with the Antina 2S. The level of detail is fantastic and the print quality is pretty consistent. This is one of the default models that comes preloaded into the SD card and it's set to print at 0.1mm. The quality is very nice and you don't actually see the layers very much. Now for me, the ultimate test for trying out a 3D printer is to actually print my own models. Loading your models onto the Antina 2S is a breeze. You can easily transfer files via the provided microSD card. They also provide you with a USB and also a micro USB adapter as well to make things easier. As you can see here, when you connect the SD card to your computer, it already comes with a few things preloaded into it, including the initial setup videos, in case you are someone who prefers to watch video tutorials instead of reading the manual. You can see here all the models it also comes with. You can remove these if you want or add your own. Now the most important thing this SD card comes with is the software that you can use to set up your 3D models. It comes with two programs, 
but I always find the Ultimaker Curaf software to be the most reliable one, and it's also compatible with a range of other 3D printers. All you have to do is install it, and in the initial setup window, make sure you set the 3D printer you will be using. In this case, I set it up to use the Antina 2S 3D printer. When you do that, the software automatically sets up the scene so that it matches the dimensions as your 3D printer. This way, you know what size models you can actually print. Now, if you don't know how to make your own 3D models for 3D printing, that's not really an issue since you can download a plethora of 3D models online. One good website I like to use to get 3D models is Thingiverse. This site has thousands of models, most which are already set up to work with 3D printing. So for this video, I'm going to download a few to test out. I will do a 3D print of this penguin from the uh, Wallace and Gromit movies, for example. As you can see, all you have to do once you have the files downloaded is to open them with Ultimaker. Here you can do many things such as position the model where you want it, change the scale, and also change the fidelity of the print. In this case, you can change how high the quality you want for your print. The higher the quality, the nicer it's going to look like once you print it. Keep in mind though that the higher the quality, the longer it's going to take to print. The nice thing about Ultimaker is that you can preview the printing process as well and see how long it's going to take to print the model. The preview also helps you determine if you need support for your 3D model, for example. In this case, it doesn't seem like this model needs it. Okay, so I'm adding these three different files to the SD card and can now proceed to add them to the printer. All you have to do is insert the SD card back into the 3D printer and choose Print. Here you also see some of the settings that you set in Ultimaker. Alright, let's hit Print and just wait for it to be done. One other cool thing about this 3D printer is that you can connect it to Wi-Fi and use an app that allows you to print models right from the app. I didn't really test its features since I'm really used to just using Ultimaker for my 3D models. But if you're someone who doesn't even want to bother with using Ultimaker, you can just use this app and have things printed from it directly. Of course, no 3D printer is perfect, and the Antina 2S has its cons. One downside is that it doesn't come with a touchscreen. Now granted most 3D printers don't, but it would have been nice to make navigation a lot easier for users. As it is right now, you have to use this knob to actually change some of the settings if you want. Another con is that while the small size is perfect for space saving, this does mean you can't really print very large objects, unless you scale them down or cut them into pieces for printing. So if you're looking to print really large items, this may not be the printer for you. Alright, so here's what the 3D model I loaded looks like all printed out. It came out looking really nice when you consider that I had the settings set to somewhat low. So a few of the parts are not quite perfect for this particular print, but if I had set this to the highest fidelity settings, I'm sure it would have looked perfect, or close to. Now this particular model took about 5-6 to six hours to print, uh, including all the pieces. That is actually on par with many of the 3D printers I have used in the past. So there you have it, the Antina 2S 3D printer, with its beginner friendly features and excellent print performance. It's a great choice for beginners or even kids to get into 3D printing. If you're looking to add a reliable 3D printer for your setup, the Antina 2S is definitely worth considering. If you're looking to print things of small sizes and don't have the space for a large 3D printer, this one's definitely one to look at. It may almost look like a toy at first glance, but I can safely say that it prints things at pretty much the same print quality as some of the larger 3D printers I have tried in the past. If you want to take a look at this printer in particular, there will be a link in the video description. The link will take you to where you can get it at a discounted price so you don't have to pay full price for it. Once again, I would like to thank the folks from Antina for sending me this 3D printer. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more reviews and tutorials. If you have any questions about the Antina 2S in particular, drop them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.